Frida, I am so happy to be here with you today to celebrate the incredible success of your Serpentine Annual Pavilion. So I'd really love to hear from you how you felt when you got that call six months ago. It was quite a surprise. Actually, it was such a surprise that at the first time that I received the, the email invitation, um, I thought it was an invitation to join the newsletter. The newsletter. <laughs> the newsletter. <laughs> and so everything was just very fast, but very exciting. And we're thrilled to just be able to see the space finished now. You say that there's beauty in materials everywhere. Um, how did you come upon using these materials? Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about what we see around us. What we do in the office in Mexico City is working uh, with very simple materials, with very simple means and trying to do uh, a lot with very little resources. So we usually work with a modular uh, object, a modular material like cinder block or in this case uh, roof tiles. Uh, and just like try to weave them in different patterns or different forms or shapes that are a little bit more sophisticated and that allow uh, for a more complex uh, understanding of the space. So in this case we just used um, these grey, very dark grey roof tiles. Um, just basic standard British roof tiles? Yes. Is that the basis of this beautiful structure? That's correct and the, the intention was for it to be very dark so actually the garden would come in into this space. When you have a dark material and you have a bright exterior, then uh, the garden really comes into the space. And you also feel enclosure and you feel protection and an intimate space. So that was, that was the idea. So tell me about that merger between these British roof tiles in the context woven into a celosia. Yes, well, the celosia is this kind of uh, open wall, a porous wall that we use a lot in Mexico because of the weather. We have warm weather, so you need to uh, filter out the sun but let the breeze in. And it also gives um, this kind of dual aspect. You, you are able to observe the exterior, but you feel like you're contained and you're in a private space, so no one looks uh, to you from the exterior, you're protected. It's kind of a veil, uh, so it's kind of voyeuristic also in a way. You're able to peek out, but you're very private in the inside. And that was something that we wanted to achieve here as well. I'd love to ask you about color and what that has meant for you with this project. Um, well, we actually try to work with materials that will absorb uh, the context or time. So it was important for us not to uh, use some kind of layering or finishes that would need to be reapplied over and over again. Uh, this is a pavilion that is of course temporary here at Kensington Gardens but it will find a new permanent home somewhere else in the world and it was important for us to do something that would also start aging beautifully and that would not need any upkeep and therefore we chose this material that would be a dark in color so the landscape would fit in and you actually see this green coming in so it's a very neutral pavilion in that way it was not about making a statement about color it's allowing the landscape to change and to come inside the pavilion well, listen you say that buildings are never finished but we're nearly finished here uh, it's really architects like you that help us shed heat and light on what the next half century may bring so thank you very much thanks to you Jana this has been truly a pleasure